There's been a push to change the name of many things amid the unrest in America. Yeah, this includes some South Florida schools. Local 10 News reporter Syra Onwar is live in Fort Lauderdale, where the topic was up for a discussion at that same Broward County School Board workshop today. So the topic is specifically surrounding the word plantation when it comes to schools in the city of plantation. Now, people in favor of these name changes say that word plantation sparks racial imagery and has racial undertones. But people opposed to this change say the city's history has nothing to do with that. It continues to hurt people that look like me, people that are immigrants to this country, people that are part of the fabulous LGBTQ community. Racism is alive and well. And the discussion of renaming five Broward public schools containing the city name Plantation brought to light by school board member Dr. Rosalind Osgood. This morning's meeting opened to public comment over possible changes. The discussion comes amid nationwide conversations surrounding race sparked by protests against the killing of George Floyd. If people are feeling hurt, if people are feeling that it's a reminder of something that we no longer would like to remember, then I think that I would like to, as briefly as possible, tell you to please listen. Comments speaking both for and against the name changes. One commenter spotlighting the city of Plantation's history and that the name Plantation comes from the Everglades Plantation Company, who drained the area where the city now stands for farmland, and that the area was not affiliated with slavery or slave plantations. Um, we uh, love our city. We, we like the name. And I'm here today just to ask for us to take a breath, not make any rash decisions as far as the city of Plantation names go. The school names in question include Plantation High, South Plantation High, Plantation Middle, Plantation Elementary, and Plantation Park Elementary. Dr. Osgood suggesting the board change its school naming guidelines moving forward to exclude names with racial connotations. Current guidelines already prohibit naming schools after cities, but the five plantation schools were named prior to the issuance of that guideline. And this name changing potential will be discussed at a future workshop with uh, Broward County Public Schools, but the school board members did agree that this should also be included with some sort of renaming task force. Now, whether that task force would be countywide or at individual school locations is still up for debate. And you can get updates on this story by following me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at Syra WPLG. Reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Syra Onward, Local 10 News.